What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Yay. Uh, KDE Plasma 6.0 RC2 is out. Uh, which I was so thankful for because it was nowhere near being finalized already. So I'm glad they made the final decision to release another RC out there. And um, it's been freaking fantastic. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, no bugs. You can see this has changed. This is different. I guess they changed the main wallpaper. Let's go take a look at the main wallpaper now. But I'm going to do it in the way I like because wallpaper is now here. And I like that. Uh, new wallpaper. New wallpaper. There's, where's the new wallpaper? New wallpaper. Sacred tree. I like it. It's pretty. It does things to my eyes that I enjoy. It's pretty. Wow. A lot of bug fixes in this, I hope. Uh, let's go back to the... I believe it was the application launcher. How many times can I open and close this without it sh pooping itself? Eh, take that and that. Can we just, like, spam this real quick? Because usually after five or ten times, unless I'm recording, it usually just stops working. And I've reported that issue. And it seems like it's fixed later on i promise you the minute i stop recording it's gonna stop being okay yeah so i guess we're good for that uh next thing is the widget icon for the weather is now working so you can see it's minus seven but it actually feels like minus 11 or 12 outside it, i had to put on two pairs of pants to go to the store yeah it was that cold because i didn't want to put on my snow pants even though technically it's the same thing it just I don't feel comfortable in them. They're like that material that just slips down all the time and you have to constantly readjust and it's not okay. If it came with a belt that kept it up, I'd be fine. But no, Canada cold. Ah, recent applications is working again. Good. Console is, oh, still buggy as hell. Jesus, did you see that? Did you see that? Like, ah, you have to pull it down. It's like actually trying to lift Thor's hammer. Except I successfully did it. Uh, I installed Hyperland. And Hyperland, the script that I use, did this. I like it. It's nice. So there we go. We're on Arch Linux, by the way. They updated uh, Qt 6.7 to Beta 2, which seems to have fixed everything, thankfully. And honestly, now that it did, this is all just a complete mess. Let me just get rid of this okay there we go now we only have one red dot i want to show you something and uh it's important okay i never showed you this bug i think i did maybe i did where you'd have to have the workspace where is it where's the rest of the workspace it's not there it's not there because we have selected only one monitor because the very last second they fixed my bug they did it so obs is just jamming over here on its own uh no multi-window type setup going on it's it's wonderful i love it ah uh, so many icons to get rid of <laughs> so many icons to get rid of uh we're gonna go with small the small looks clean entries there's there's a ton of stuff here now that i don't like screen casting always hidden thank you updates always hidden goodbye uh, audio volume can stay. Blue man can stay. Why do we have this interface when we have this interface? I, I don't, I don't like that icon. Um, disable. Okay. Camera indicator. Disable. Okay. Discs. I don't care. I know which ones I have enabled and which ones are allowed to do its thing. Do we have a microphone icon? Is that what that is? A microphone. OBS is using the microphone. Why isn't it transparent? Always hidden. Go away. All right. Network is fine. Power and battery is something that could be put elsewhere. Uh, touchpad disabled. Clipboard. Don't like you. Go away. Uh, input method. Don't like you. Go away. Notifications. Go away. Uh, volts disable go away and that's it we're done it's cleaned up now all right so this 
This version comes with um, some stuff in monitor. If you have an HDR display, it's going to show you HDR. Oh, look at that. Replica of. That wasn't there before, was it? I don't think it was. Ah. Huh. So I guess now you can make this replica of this or that. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? That's pretty cool. But HDR should show up here now. That's the cool part. I don't have HDR. But um, I did test it here on my laptop with uh, my TV. And it did work. So there's that. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure what else changed in here. Honestly, I'm seeing most of the same stuff. Some icons are different. Uh, some icons look a little bit better than normal. But that just might be all in my head. Lots of things tend to all be in my head. Like when I meant to go type sudo dnf corp enable for a repo, I forgot the corp part. And I didn't realize till two minutes later after trying to figure out what I did wrong. Yeah. That's not okay. Alright, so everything's there. That looks good. We do have rounded corners on the dock, which is different. What happens when we full screen? Ah, the dock still smushes. See, a developer was working on um, a windowed behavior where if you maximize the screen, that the dock would stay as it is. But... I don't know if he did it or not, because I can't tell. How how would we deal with that? Like, I love the whole meta key thing. Uh, middle click, raise, move, movement, snap to edge, only went overlapping, advanced, window placement, center, switch to virtual desktop, on shading. What does on shading mean? What does that mean? Like, Windows rules? Uh, no. Where would we do it? Task switcher? Now, what is the task switcher like right now? Eh. I don't like that. Thumbnail grid. Apply. What is this supposed to look like? Ugh, no thank you. Sidebar. Nope. Arch icons. Nope. Flip switch. Ugh, that's ugly. Uh, cover switch. Nope, that's ugly. Compact. That's super ugly. Uh, I mean... Fine. We can go haul Windows Vista, I guess. Content is not available, so they haven't fixed that. Have they fixed the ability to install more themes? Let me see. So, Breeze, Breeze Dark, Breeze Twilight. Then we got old ass, old school oxygen. Get new, let's see. Get new. Get, 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 get new. No, I guess not. Anyway, enough talking. Uh, Plasma 6.0 RC2 is out. And I like the new background. Everything's looking nice and clean and working well, minus the whole get new themes. I think they want to avoid you installing a theme, uh, possibly to avoid you breaking things. Because believe it or not, that's a thing. But I got a theme on anyway, so you know what? AUR for the win. Huh? I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Go test this out. This is more stable than KDE5, and that says a lot. So, uh, oh, NVIDIA users, if you're on KDE5 and you're on Arch, switch to KDE6, you'll have way less problems. Have fun.